Hi, this is Anthony with TradingETFs.com. Today is March 18th, 2020. We wanted to do a short video on the XOP ETF. This is the um, oil and gas exploration ETF. Um, if you've watched our other videos or some of our other um, ideas, when markets get to an extreme is when they become interesting. And on a weekly chart of the XOP, we're measuring the lowest price relative to the 200-day moving average. And you can see right now the difference between price and the 200-day moving average is 336%. Um, that's just, <laughs> I'm not sure we've ever seen that um, percentage away from the 200-day moving average before either up or down. So this has definitely hit an extreme. Um, we're showing our short-term oscillator here, which measures more, um, it, 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 it captures a lot more volatility. And if we just go back to uh, 2000 and, uh, well, it goes back to 2006, but you can see here in 2008, 2009, the last crisis we had, our short-term oscillator uh, bottomed at about 0 0.03 to the negative and you can see we're already surpassed that to the downside so this is just an extreme uh, move um, on the XOP and, and I know there's a lot of talk about you know the oil market is crashing um, the Saudi and the Russians are in a war um, but something would suggest to us that because we're so far away from the 200-day moving average on a weekly chart that something would be coming out here shortly that may set up a really good trade here if we move this to a daily chart then you can see this yellow one was the weekly chart the blue one here is the daily and if we just make an adjustment here we are um, you know, roughly 181% away from the 200-day moving average. So we've got a daily chart, a weekly chart that are just at, at uh, huge extremes. Um, I'm not suggesting that this is the absolute bottom because you can see this Bollinger Band is continuing to decline. So we still may get a sharp move to the downside or maybe one more. But for the most part, we're at an extreme. And if you've seen our other um, videos as I mentioned or some of our other articles we talked about the TQQ back in February and um, we came out with an article I think it was right around here February actually it was February 10th that we put, placed the article um, and we were already an extreme difference from the 200-day moving average and then look what happened so again, we want to look at extremes. And so the XOP is something that you want to take a look at. And again, not, uh, you know, we never give like a direct buy signal to anyone. We want to highlight certain movements. We want to show you what we're looking at, and then it's up to you to do your own research. But um, look forward to your comments if you have any. Thanks a lot, have a great day.